is a thing called Boom Boom Wawa. Wow. She hospital. I remember just like yesterday when this one dropped. Oh my God, have mercy. I was on radio right there at Happy FM. And when the CD came over to me, my God, it was tremendously dangerous. And I remember when I was invited over for the launch of this one at Bob's place. Oh my God. <laughs> My God of mercy, and I picked up my copy, well packaged. In fact, that was the first time we were seeing a Ghanaian reggae CD that well packaged. My God. And I still remember this like yesterday when it was spread on the table. Anybody who came in for the event just picked one and went away. Oh, my God. Shasha Mala! The man is in the house. Mata tweet, mata pew, mata push. What are you talking about? Reggae music getting bigger and better. This is 92.7 in living stereo. And that time Shashamali drops, trust me, man, he shakes up the reggae realms. And he makes some of us feel so proud. And those people who say, oh, and reggae music is sleeping a little bit. Anytime Shashamali comes, he wakes up reggae music to the lion that it has always been. Shashamali, how are you doing? Thank you, thank you, my brother, Black Rasta. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, good to see you again, man. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you and I sat together like this Same, was man. like two years ago. Yeah, man, two you years and a bit more. Yeah, yeah and uh, sure. I listen to you all the time. Oh, my but God. But let me ask you, what is it about you and I, you know, that any time I post your flyer that I'm coming on the show, everybody's like, hey, this one I got to listen. Oh, As my for this, God. I'm for listen. Shall oh it go be fire God. or it go be fire? Oh, my <laughs> Shall God. Me, what is it about? What is it about us? You know, there is, there is, there is that feeling, the happy. Yeah feeling that is yeah. so deep yeah i mean the history between us uh, yeah and you know it's long reggae. it goes a long way back you know? oh my god yeah i mean first time i spoke with you and yeah. interviewed was in takra do you remember yeah yeah, yeah. Long and time ago. that interview became one of the best exactly, on radio absolutely and that was that was in the 90s right yes yeah. certainly i mean yeah. and right after that we went to pipe i know that too yeah. i mean sit down there and eat some quality fufu and that's things right. oh that's my right. god daddy you know oh god nobody's nobody even knows you passed through takrade my before, god you know my yeah, god Sh shamali thank you so much for thank giving you. us good music man and thanks so much for staying true oh, to quality thanks. music yeah, yeah give thanks to god you know yeah i'm going to take you through a beautiful journey right. now when you started you were yeah. dying your hair yes then you had the hood over your head. Right. In fact, and I loved that mantra you stood with. Yeah, yeah. That was the monk on the loose. On the loose. That's right. My God. Yeah. And every time you touched it, the energy was so strong. Mm -hmm. Then after some time, dreadlocks came in. Right. And then the hood went away. Yeah. And then a turban came on. Uh -huh. And tell me about that journey. Well, well, it's a journey, you know, black. You know, coming yeah. the first time into professional recording, you know. Mm. I wanted a brand, you yeah. know, that would stand out. Right. You know, and I remember reading books about St. Francis of Assisi, yeah. you know. Yeah. I picked him as my role model, you mm -hmm. know, because this is a man who came from wealthy family, but due to his love for mankind and humanity, he left the comfort of his home yeah. and lived in the slum to take care of the poor, the needy, and the sick, you know. And that's the exact life I, I desired to live, wow. you know, to care wow. for the needy in the society. You know? Interesting. So I decided to dress like a Franciscan friar. Oh. That's how come I had the black hood with the oh. white sash. Oh. You know, but people actually didn't really understand where I'm coming from, you know. And I believe if everybody, like the rich people in this world, you know, behave like Francis of Assisi to care for the poor, the needy, the world will be a better place for you and I and for generations yet unborn to live. For know? real. Yes. For real. So are you done with that kind of style, that kind of, I, I've, come, know, I've come a long way. Mm. You know, I, I've done it for so long. I feel like, you know, I've come of age. Let me try and be me. Be me, you know. So now you see me as I am with dreadlocks, you know, which I've always desired to grow dreads. Because wow. starting singing reggae music back, back, back in the days, you know, when Bob Marley was famous here, Bernie Spear and all those guys, you know, we felt like also locking our hairs, you That's know. That's true. Yes. And then I read also about John, also known as, as a Baptist, mm. that he, mm. you know, this was the man who prayed for Jesus. Yeah. And, and before Jesus started his ministry, you know, had it not been him, there wouldn't have been no Jesus ministry, you know. That's right. The Bible said his hairs were locked. You know, so so I, I said to myself, come on, let me grow the locks. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I mean, growing your locks, has it changed you in any way? And uh, I mean, some people will tell you, when I wore my locks, I wanted to this shop and they didn't receive me good. I went uh, to that office. Did you no, experience no, anything no, like no, that? Not really. Not really. Oh. I mean, it's been, it's been very normal with me. 
you know, and um, I, I feel good with it. Wow. I feel good wow. with it. Matter of fact, you wow. know, it's, it's even helpful, you know, because, you know, when you're traveling, yeah. you know, out of the country, you know, and when people see you like this, straight away, they know, oh, he's an artist. Yes. You know, so it gives you the urge for you to go through some migration processes and all that. Protocol. One time I was going to, uh, mm -hmm. I was going to Europe one time and yeah. I, I used Morocco. Yeah. And, you know, when I got there, there were a lot of people in the queue, the transit queue, you know, this guy would pick the passport and throw it away somewhere. Wow. You know, and I got there and they looked at me and said, I said, he said, reggae? I said, yeah, reggae. He said, he looked at me, opened my passport, said, Mali? I said, yes, Mali. He said, hey, sing reggae, sing reggae. Wow. And he started at the airport, boom. Wow. Follow so John oh Dreadlock Rasta. The guy just looked wow. at me and said, go, 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 go. Oh you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a visa for this me, you know? It's 3FM. <laughs> it's a visa, straight away. <laughs> oh, so you have Marley in your passport? Yes, exactly. That, that, Interesting. Yes. Oh, really? Yes, I've, I have, you know, registered my stage name because everybody knows me by oh, that. Okay. You All know right. I mean? So I get my it. lawyers advised me to go with it. Oh. You know, so yeah. So your passport actually has Shasha yes, Marley? All my documentations. Interesting. Shasha Mali, yeah. Interesting. Exactly. Yeah. Now, this brings me to the question, how did you come by the name Shasha? Oh, it started from St. John's, secondary school, you know, ah. from 1978. Mm. When I was singing for my high school band, the Matthew Chapter 5, everybody knew Matthew Chapter 5 band at the time. Arguably, it, is, it was the, the number one student band in Africa at the in time. In Africa, wow. At the time, yeah. Wow. St. John's, Matthew Chapter 5. Mm. You know, at the time, you know, and the... Uh, I was singing all the reggae's coming out of Jamaica at the time. Wow. You know, so we used to have what we call pop chains. Mm. Pop chains into high school competitions. I remember you know? pop chains. Yes, into high school band competition. Mm. And any time there was a pop chain, our band was always first. Oh my God. You know, so, so my friend from Zimbabwe actually gave me the name Shasha. Shasha. Meaning, hey, the great man. Mm. You know, the champion, Shasha. Wow. You know, and then uh, it became Shasha all over. Oh. And then the other guys added the Mali to it. Ah. And it became Shasha Mali. Shasha Mali. You know, but you know, in school, they call you by a name and you don't want it. Yes. That's how come they call you yeah. the more, yeah. you know. Yeah. I didn't want it because my father was so crazy about it. He didn't want to hear that name. What? I took it to school to go and study and be a lawyer. You call yourself Bob Mali. <laughs> this is 3FM. <laughs> so... I just didn't want the name, you know. Same. But when I finished school, yeah, and I got into professional music, mm. and then I realized a catchy name, you know. So why not? Let me go with it. Yeah, let me go with it for real. So eventually, you know, I grew up in it, and then my lawyers also advised me to come on. You know what? You, you got to pick this name. Whoa. Yeah. Interesting, man. So my guest in the studio is Shasha Mali, and we're having an interesting conversation. Now, listening to your music yeah. right from start, I mean, when you released your very first album, I remember where yeah. exactly I was. I was in Tamale, yeah. in front of the Agri Development Band mm -hmm. when I Tell saw freedom. your cassette. Tell Freedom. And then I bought it, yes. Mm -hmm. Tell Freedom. And the music was sparkling beautiful. Wow. Now, listening to that album, you hear a lot of Rastafari, I say, yeah, yeah. like Eva, Siki yeah, Good, yeah. you know, yeah. not evil. Yeah. And all that. But these days, I don't hear you say Rastafari in the songs. Yeah, because, you know, when I started music, I <laughs> thought every reggae musician is a Rastafarian. <laughs> you know, that's what I thought. You know, but as I grew, you know, I realized that you don't have to be dread to be Rasta. This you know, is not everybody FM. singing reggae music is Rastafarian. We are half of Blondie. Half mm. of Blondie is a Muslim. You know, mm. many Muslims are, are singing reggae music. They're that's not right. Rastafarian. True. But then again, it depends on how one will take Rastafari for. Mm. You know, some people take it as a movement, others take it as, as a way of life, right. others take it as a religion. Mm. If it is as a movement, I love the culture right. you know, of Rastafarianism. But then, religious-wise, mm. you know, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian. Yeah, I was born and raised in a Christian family, right. you know, baptized in the Catholic Church, had my first communion in the Catholic Church. And as I grew and grew and grew and grew, you mm. know, I met with Prophet T.B. Joshua, as you know. Yeah. And right now, I'm attending his church, mm. T.B. Joshua's church right Interesting. now. Interesting. My guest in the studio is Shasha Maoli, and he grew up in the Catholic Church, and he grew up talking a lot about Jesus Christ, no two ways about them thing, the manner. Shasha Mali! I was born. This is 3FM. Shasha Mali, mm. do you still believe in the rosary? I still believe in the rosary, you know, because mm. um, rosary, I see it as the most powerful weapon of the Catholic Church. Wow. You know, let me tell you this. I mm. mean, we'll be, well, we Christians say Jesus is God. Mm. You know, and Mary gave birth to Jesus. Mm. So, Mary is the mother of God. Right. You know, I believe, you know, the, the statement there, the, the scripture that says in the wedding in Canaan when Jesus turned water to wine, yeah. you know, this was a wedding reception. Mm. And then there was a shortage of wine. Mm. And then Mary, you know, the, a lot of disgrace was coming around, you yeah. know, the year. So Mary yeah. walked to the sun. Jesus said, hey, Jesus, you know what? Listen, listen, there's no wine. Why don't you do something? 
Jesus said, hey, mom, mom, my time is not yet up. That's true. He said, no, come on, waiters, come. Mm. Whatever he tells you, do it. But for the love and respect that Jesus has for his mother. That's right. Even though his time was not up yet for him to do miracles, he respected his mother so much that he had to obey his mother and then turn water to wine. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I believe that, yes, as the Catholics prayed through Mary uh, with the rosary, that's the hell Mary full of grace. Blessed are you amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. You know, that is the greeting. We call that annunciation by Angel Gabriel when he visited Mary that she, she was going to bear a son. Wow. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women. Blessed is the mm. fruit of you, you mm. Jesus. Mm. You know? Mm. And then the Catholic said, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Mm. You know, so they believe that if Mary speak to her son, Jesus, Jesus would not say no. You know what I'm saying? For some way, I still believe that, you know, this is a man who has high respect for his mother. For real. So whatever the mother tells me, like you black rasta, mm. you have a company, right? Mm. And your mom calls you a hey, black. You know what? I have a small boy coming down to Accra. You know, put him in the, in the business. Employ him. Employ him. Even though there's no opportunity, there's you no will because, find the opportunity. You, because you respect your mother. Yes. You know this is yeah, three this is what I believe. Mm. Shot Shamale is my guest, and we're talking now from Tell Freedom. Yes. I mean, which came out and introduced you to the world. Yeah. Then came the big one. Lost and found. Right. Big one. <laughs> I mean, from the day it was released, and I'm so glad and I'm so, so, so thankful yeah. that I had a copy. In fact, a few tracks before the yeah. main album even dropped. That's right. Yes. Shasha, tell me, walk me through how that album was recorded. What did you go through? Well, uh, I started recording that album, Lost and Found, here in uh, 2001. Yeah. 2001, you mm. know, with, uh, you know, the then engineer, Mr. Kwachi, you know, at the time. Oh. You know, we recorded it. You know, the sound I wanted, I said to myself, no, this is not the kind of sound I need. Oh. You know, I've listened to Bob Marley, I've listened to Lucky Dubé, mm. all the guys, you know. So I kept it to myself. I didn't release it. Wow. Know? And then I waited and got to the States. Mm. When I got to the States, you know, I got to George Kwaku. Oh, my God. George Kwaku is the guy who... Recover, uh, discovered Alpha Blondie. Alpha Blondie. Yes. Worked with Alpha Blondie from Brigadier Sabari oh to God. Jerusalem, thereabout, you know. And so I spoke to George, you mm. know, George, I said, George, here's a demo. You know, let's do this song, you know. So George, yes, got Junior Marvin from uh, the Bob Marley and the Whale as guitarist. Got some guys to come on board and we recorded Lost and Found. You know, in one of the biggest studios in, 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 in Washington, D.C. area. You know, uh, Lion and Fox. Lion and Fox, yeah. My God. You know, and then we came out with it. Mm. You know, that's how come Lost and Found came. Shasha Mali, you are a very bold artist. Mm. At a time that we were not really making money from reggae music yeah. in Ghana. Yeah. You went to America, worked yourself dry, yeah. made so much money, and you did not find a small studio in a mm. corner that mm. would still give you a good sound. You went mm. to Lion and Fox. Yes, yes. And you did not just go to Lion and Fox. Yeah. You got Bob Marley's... I mean, um, musicians yeah. and some Bernie Spear musicians yeah. to record the album. Yeah. You must have had strong faith in the album. Yeah, yeah, Black, you know, it's, it's, it's a dream. Yeah. It's a dream that I envisioned when I was growing up, you know. I heard Rastaman vibration, yeah, the quality of the sound. Mm. You know, I heard players of music, Christopher Columbus, all those songs, you know, it inspired me that, that I need to work hard someday right. and get a sound quality like yeah. this, you know? Mm. So no matter how it cost me, I put all my, all my self, my oh money my God. in it. And we got the album, album out. I mean, I'm privy to how much money you spent. Yeah. At the time, I didn't know. Yeah. Till, of course, a couple of years back yeah. when I started hearing yeah. how much money you yeah. spent on that album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you regret spending that I don't, much? I don't, I don't. I never regret it because, you see, I want to hear the mommies. When we played Mata here, I was speaking to Ras Nico mm. in the room and I said, listen, this is a song I released back in 2007. But if you still play it, it sounds like yesterday. On parallel. You, you yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So I don't regret it, Black, you know? I mean, so much money went into, the, into it. That's right. But, but the quality that I'm hearing, you know? Now, one time there was a blogger on Instagram mm. who was making some statements that he went to Afrochella in Portugal mm -hmm. and there was no Ghanaian music played on Afrochella. You know, only that, that useless music. Oh, Mata really? Popo, Mata oh. Fush, that was played I see. on Afrochella. Mm. And then I said to myself, you call it useless music, you know? But that's what you heard, you exactly. know, that, that DJ who's not from Ghana played mm. on Afrochella in Portugal, mm. you know. Mm. So the quality is great. 
Yeah. And every DJ would like to play it. For real. You know, when you For play that, I saw yourself jumping on your seat. Oh, yes. And it's a great I sound. I mean, I mean, it makes you want to do things to yourself. Yeah. Now, I know that you also went through some problems with um, George Kwaku yeah. and there was a give and take. Yeah. Walk me through that. Well, what really happened? Well, it's, it's, it's quite personal, you know. I don't mm. want to sit on radio and, and say something. George might think I'm, I'm kind of broadcasting things, you know. But this friction comes between producers and musicians. You know, it happens most of the time. This know? is and, 3 uh, FM. It's just a friction. It's just a friction. I mean, you know, we're forgiving each other. You know, I'm a Christian. You know, I don't, I don't have uh, offense. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you have fixed everything? Oh, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. But in my heart, you know, George is, is my big brother. I oh, was. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Same. Like, you know, you know. Yeah. You know everything, you know? Mm. There was a friction, though. Yeah. There was a friction. I mean, we kind of exchanged words, harsh words on each mm, other, you mm, know. Mm, but I've taken mm. it, I don't even remember it anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah, so so I love Joe. Hey Joe, wherever you are, man, I love you. I love you in my heart, you know. I'm looking forward to working with you again. Oh, wow. Yeah. You'll work with George again? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, he's a great producer. Yes, he is. You know, and uh, right now I'm working with a different producer, though. But when George comes, oh, why not? Why not? He has uh, a great record, you know, mm. producing Alpha Blondie, producing Yellow Man, played with Burning Spear, played with The Wailers. You know, play with meditation, great, great reggae bands, you know. So, no doubt, no doubt, when George is here, I'm here and I'm going to work together again. Shasha Male is my guest, and a new one has dropped. Yeah. But before we drop that new one, let's go still into the life of Shasha Male. Right. Now, I was watching this somewhere, I think on King Lagas' show, yeah. uh, where you mentioned that uh, uh, Prophet TB Joshua yeah. healed you of yeah. heart enlightenment. Yes. So, you truly had heart enlightenment. Listen, my brother, you see, it's so unfortunate. The documentary that came on BBC the other time, mm. and a lot of people, the whole world is talking about it. You know, this, is, this man, T.B. Joshua, I encountered him in 2009. You know, look, he is the most highly persecuted pastor. Mm. The whole world, even in death, mm. people are still persecuting him. For real. I've had so much encounter. Look, T.B. Joshua calls me in the middle of the night. Wow. Speak to me. He says, Shasha, I want you to come and spend days with me. He buy me a plane ticket. He flies me to Nigeria many, many times. I go and stay with him in Nigeria. You know, great man of God. Mm. 7th August, mm. 2009. Mm. I was having some health challenges. Wow. Prior to that, I had lost energy. Mm. You know, and uh, I, I, I sort of fell unconscious one time and recovered back. Wow. And I went to the hospital and I realized that my cholesterol was super high. Mm. Super, super high. And that it has made the left side of my heart Enlarged. Wow. You know what I mean? And wow. and, and it, it was bad. It was that bad. Mm. But hey, God 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 being so good, you know. This man TB Joshua came to Ghana and uh, had the uh, grace to go meet him. Wow. And uh, that was on 7th August 2009. And I spoke to him. Oh, you met him one on one. One on one. Yeah, here Ooh. in Ghana, you know. Mm. And he liked me in, in the first time the first time he saw me and we spoke, we spoke, we spoke. And then uh he, I told him my, my situation, you know, that my heart is enlarged, you know. He looked straight to my chest, very deep, you know, and he said, take this for your heart. He gave me his anointing water, mm. you know, take this for your heart. Wow. So I took it, you know, had some chats with him, and I went back home. The following two weeks, I was supposed to go check my heart situation uh, in, the, in the, what do you call it, the, this uh, uh, mechanism they, they call echo. Mm. Echo, you know, mm. with the echo, you, you lay down flat, yeah, yeah. bare chested, and they put gels, mm. on, gels on your yeah, chest, yes. and they use something like computer mouse mm. to, to mm. rub your chest, mm. and your, your, your heart condition appears on a computer. Right. You know, and, and, you know, they were doing that to check inside my heart if there's any disease or mm. not. But I had done a chest x-ray. Wow. That proved that the left side of my heart was, was enlarged. Wow. You know what I mean? And the doctor has asked me to come back in a month's time to come do the echo. And in two weeks, I met T.B. Joshua. He gave me his anointing water. He said, take this for your heart. The two weeks I went down to the hospital again to do the echo, this Cuban doctor was highly confused, you know? What? So she got up from there, you know, we did the first test. She got up, put the, uh, what's it called, the x-ray in the light. She looked at it, looked at it, looked at it. I said, what's, what's going on with that? And she said, ah, there's something going on, you know, through her year of uh, practice. She's never met this before. Wow. You know, I said, okay, you know, I lay down again, let me do this t test. Mm. So I lay down again, put gels over my body, you know, with a computer mouth, blah, blah, blah. She got up and said, your, your heart is normal. What? I said, what? For real, say your heart is normal. So she, she cleaned my gel. Mm. I go to the car park. I remember, I said, oh, yeah, I think TB Joshua gave me this uh, anointing water. Oh, you had forgotten. He said, I forgot. Whoa. He said, this he, is he said take this for your heart. Mm. Take this for your heart, you know. And then, yeah, so my heart is normal. 
my heart is not my Look, god from 2009 black you see me i said we i have the energy my energy is super duper my god you know what i'm saying so from 2009 after that i've spent many days with tb joshua he calls me look six months before he passed on he called me you know bought me a ticket to go be with him in lagos i stayed with him for like a month you what? know came what? back home a week a month before he died he called me again you know so so much uh, you know these accusers are saying you know wow. saying? i don't speak for him I'm, wow. not, I'm not his pr mm. but i'm saying my encounter it's your testimony it's my testimony oh my god that's a very powerful one you know what i'm saying yeah. i mean i had my own testimony with i mean tb joshua i mean yeah. having criticized him from only god knew when mm. and all that and i had the opportunity to go meet him he said i'm going to buy you a ticket to come to nigeria i said don't worry about it papa i'll buy it myself yeah. and then when i got there the money he gave me yeah. shocked me I was with him for eight solid days on the prayer mountain and everything and everything. When I saw the documentary, actually, I commented yeah. on yeah. that on radio. It's sad. Now, tell me the documentary. Do you think that he probably slept with I don't some of believe, the girls? I don't believe even an iota mm. in that documentary. You know what I'm saying? Black Rasta, mm. listen, we've come a long way, yeah. you know? Yeah. Look, I met people of all races, all class. Yeah. Look, Americans, Europeans... Mm and British. Mm. They are not like us Africans in the sense that they have high level of confidence. Right. This you know, is you know what 3 I'm saying? FM. Look, mm. One cannot sexually abuse an American lady, force her into sex, mm. and she'll be quiet about it for two days. Wow. No way. Wow. No way. I, I'm yet to meet an, an European or a British lady who has been sexually abused, been forced to sex. You know? Regardless, I mean, force you to sex, and she's quiet about it, walking around leisurely. The man lives in the church premise. You went there, you saw where he lives. Oh, yes. He lives inside the church with yes, his yes, wife yes. and children. Yes, yes. So if he sexually abuse you, report, mm. report to his wife. Exactly. Go to the police mm. and report. Mm. American woman will not be quiet. For 20 um, years. For 20 years, you, this you move from TV FM. to TV, saying that you move from radio to radio, saying that go to the police and make your report. Interesting. That now you heard TB Joshua had died. Were you shocked? Did you think that he would never die? I almost collapsed. Wow. Because a month to that, mm. he had called me. He and I had spoken. And he said to me, I want to give you a gift. Wow. I said, yes, sir. He said, go to the church mm. and go and collect that gift. You know, he gave me a huge amount of money in, oh, in, wow. do in dollars. Wow. A month before he died. Mm. So, well, when I went there six months before he died, immediately I came to Ghana. I had COVID. Hey. I had nasty COVID. Oh, my God. I was in the hospital, sidelined in the hospital. You know, we called TB Joshua. He called me one early morning while I was in the hospital. He said, mm. well, what's wrong with you? I said, I'm dying. He said, who said you got COVID? I said, the doctor. He said, look, get ready, pack your things and leave the place. Wow. The doctor came around in the morning, 10 a.m. He saw me say, Shasha, go home. Wow. I went home a week after that, I recovered. Wow. You know what I mean? And he had called me many times prior to that. And then a month to the time he passed, he called me. How are you? I said, I'm fine, sir. He said, I want to give you a gift. Mm. Oh, wow. No, you know, so he and I supposed to go to the church and then blah blah blah. You know, go and he gave me a huge amount of dollars. Not knowing it was his way of saying goodbye oh to me. Oh my god. This is three FM. So when I heard it, oh man, I could I almost collapsed. I was like, ah, how can this be? Because a day prior to that, I was watching him on TV doing a a, a healing yeah. healing service. Yeah, yeah. And there was nothing like he mm. was sick and you know, you know what I mean? And the following day he's gone. Mm. You know, but then straight away I went to Lagos stay there for the whole period of time in the in church a, in the church yeah i stayed mm. there for a whole period of time in fact i was there a week after he died mm. i went there stayed there for so long till he got buried we, we, we buried him and i came back home you know after that and you know i got to understand a whole lot a mm. whole lot you know he was a great man of god no doubt do you still have that relationship with the church yes of course i go to the church it's my church now you wow. Know, yes. Interesting. Yeah. Shabale is my guest. And of course, we are having a conversation on... This is 3FM. 92.7 in Living Stereo. This is 3FM. No two weeks about them. Take them on. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, let me go to your parents and let me go to your family. Were they disappointed that you had moved from the Catholic Church into TV? Oh, church? Not the church. Not the church. They were disappointed mm. because my father's aim for me was to be a lawyer. 
Oh. You know, the Mosechi family I come from, mm. you know, you mentioned my name, Julius Amosechi, yes. that's right, you said. Right. You know, majority of us are lawyers. Mm. You know, so when I was growing up and I sort of showed some exuberance, you know, my father said to himself, that, yeah, this is going to be one of the lawyers, you know. Wow. So he had so much hope in me that I was also going to be a lawyer. And so when I chose music, he highly, highly got disappointed, you know, yeah, not, not shifting the faith. No, as for the faith, no. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Do you regret being a musician? No way. Because you see, Black, I realize mm. that as God calls some people to be prophets, mm. and He calls some people to be to be evangelists and That's pastors, right. mm. He also calls some people to be musicians. That's true. And when I see myself coming this long way, I realize I'm one of the, those God called to be musicians. Interesting. You know? So I'm not doing music for money's sake or so, something like that. I'm doing music for people to feel the kind of message that, that I have, and I want the message to touch the heart of the people. And when I see one person's life turn around, my mission is fulfilled. Interesting. You, you know what I mean? So mm. never, never regret it. There are times, though, when afflictions hit me and all that, I, you know, I feel like, you know, come on, doing something different, you know. But then again, when God calls you for the job, he makes you fit for it. Exactly. When God calls you for the job, he makes you fit. So when you face affliction and disappointments and, you know, this kind of setbacks and all the frustrated disappointment, no way. Interesting. You know, he, he, he pushes you to move ahead. Mm. Yeah. This is 3F. Julius Amwasechi, a.k.a. Shasha Maole, is my guest. Now you have traveled around the world. I know you were in Australia. We've seen the videos on TV. Mm -hmm. You rocking the Australian people and all that. Yeah. And I, I read the other day that you were also invited by Gaddafi to perform. 2000. In Libya, two thousand and one. What? Yeah. Tell me about at, it. At the OAU, OAU meeting in uh, in Sart, mm. Gaddafi's hometown. You know, the, the two thousand and one OAU summit right. was in Libya, mm -hmm. and this time the, the, the invitation came from an agent in Togo. Mm. You know, during the time of Yadama. You know, and we were in Libya, man. Listen, the first time Libya opened its doors for uh, for foreigners to come in like this with uh, what you call it, uh, oh, with these models and all that. Mm, the first, mm. he was amazing. Look, wow. wonderful, wonderful place. The man was amazing. His security at the time was super. Mm. You know, so yeah, I met Gaddafi. We sat with him. We spoke to him and all that. We travel all around Libya. Mm. You know, from city to city, you know, travel all the way from Tripoli to Sirt for, for the performance and all that. So with all these presidents present at the time, 2001, it was, it was wonderful, you know. Why were you yeah. chosen? Uh, to be part of the Libyan trip? Well, because I had released Siki Good and Naughty oh. and it was all over on the radio, oh. all over on the TV, you know. Oh. Remember, you remember the video? Yes, I do. Yeah, so, I do. Yeah, so my name was there. And they called me, not only me in Ghana, you know, Hina Yuri, Gifty Auntie was part of it. Mm. The GTV crew that went, mm. you know, you had the um, uh, well, Shepherds, you know, wow. some Gan Ghanaian personalities mm. were also called. Shasha Mali, do you make money from music? Well, I, I have made what I'm supposed to make. Oh, wow. I'm very happy with myself, wow. with my family, you know, my family. We rock three square meals a day. We live in our own place, you know. Wow. You know, so I'm super okay with it. And you live on the Spintex Road? I lived there for so long, but for the nasty situation of the traffic, you know, I left there to the Eastern region somewhere, but I still got my place there. Then I go, then look, back. I'm here with my new song, as you know, the Spin mm. Test Road Traffic Jam. Mm. It's my desire to see this traffic situation in this country eradicated. I'm using the Spin Test Road Traffic Jam as mm. a case study, wow. you know, to, to sell out my, my, my concern mm. to the authorities, you know, in charge of the roads and highways to, to clear off traffic, you know, off our roads, you know. A friend of mine listened to the music, apart from the quality of the production. Yes. And the fact that you have some clean lyrics in there and consciousness in there. He said, oh, but why is Shachamali talking about traffic here and there when he should be talking about corruption in the country, yeah. how people are stealing and robbing yeah. and all that? Answer him, please. No, everybody, the, the journalists, the politicians, the, everybody's talking about corruption mm. in the country. So many people are talking about corruption. Who is talking about the traffic situation? Say that again, you know, Shachamali. So I this am, is oh, I'm also chosen the, the, that traffic you know, situation in the country so for it to be eradicated, you know what I'm saying? So you guys talk about corruption. Talk about anything. I'm also talking about the traffic. Wow. You know, look, we, we're complaining of the economy, mm. you know. IMF is not the only solution to, to revamp our economy. That's right. You know this what I'm saying? Is and the traffic situation is, is solved and we have free flow of traffic. Nurses get to work early, you know, present the radio, you know, the, the school children get to school early. Everybody gets to work early. The economy will revamp. 
you know, we need to see to the traffic situation in the country. Interesting. That's why this tomorrow's is a song like that. FM. I like that. I like it. Other people are talking about things. Yes. Nobody's talking about this. Yes. Who should talk about that? Yes. Shashamali says he's the one who will talk about that. All right, man. I mean, let me take you back into the Catholic Church. I mean, Francis of Assisi, the hood, and, you know, the beauty of the Catholic Church. Yes. Now, recently, the Pope was talking about, you know, homosexuality, why we should bless homosexuals and all that. Yeah. Let me pick your mind. What do you think about LGBTQI+. Plus? Uh, well, I don't care about what the Pope said about LGBTQ+. Plus. Mm. Yeah, what, what my opinion about LGBTQ plus is that I love them. Mm. I love them. Mm. I love the people in that cult. Mm. LGBTQ. Look, it's so unfortunate this to see a lot of FM. people who are advocating for the criminalization of LGBTQ mm. plus. Christians are doing that. You know what I mean? People in parliament all saying, look, bend these people, cousin of society, and all that. I've seen bizarre videos. Bizarre. These people are burned to death. They are butchered, you know, and they're human like us. Mm. You who pointing fingers at LGBT people, they are evil on that. How righteous are you? How, are you righteous? Now, let me ask this question. Look, Black Rasta, yeah. it's unfortunate. Christians, mm. Christians especially, That's right. are also advocating for the criminalization of LGBT people. Now, let me tell you this. Look, one time, the other day, that woman called Mary mm. was charged of, of committing adultery. Oh, yes, that's true. She was committed adultery, and uh, these Pharisees were holding clubs and stones to stone him to death mm. because, according to the law of Moses, if anybody is caught in such an act, he, she must be stoned to death. Not even the he, yes. the she yes. must be stoned to death. Mm. And then they were dragging this woman from the city to the outskirts of the city to stone her because she had committed adultery. Yes. And people are pointing fingers that she's evil. Mm. Luckily for the woman, they met Jesus along the way. That's right. And Jesus said, Hey, there comes a rabbi. And they met Jesus and they asked Jesus, hey, Rabbi, listen, this woman has committed adultery. And according to our law, look, such a person should be stoned to death. That's right. What is your opinion? They asked Jesus. The Lord looked at them, you know, bowed down, wrote on the floor, sought answer from above, and told them, he who has no sin must be the first to cast the stone. Fire! 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 Mm. You! Fire! People pointing fingers mm. at LGBTQ class and whatever, they must be killed, they must be... How righteous are you? How righteous are, are you? Are you a saint? Are you a, are saint? You a saint? Are you Saint Francis? He who fire, has fire, no fire, sin fire, must be fire, the first. Fire, Interesting. To cast the, listen, Interesting. The Lord again, Jesus again made a statement in the Bible. Mm. You know, in the book of Matthew 22 verse 39, mm. he said, love your neighbor as yourself. That's true. Love your neighbor as yourself. So, in that sense, loving my neighbor as myself, my neighbor could be my enemy. He could be gay. You know? Jesus said, love is an obligation. He could love be a thief. My, my neighbor could be one I do not share the same faith with. That's true. Muslim, you know, a Kankar, Buddhist. Jesus said, love them. That's what he you said. You are Christian. We are obliged to love our neighbors. Your neighbor could be a member of LGBTQ+. Unconditionally. Unconditionally. Love them. Oh, my God. You know, so me, you know, my, fire, with my Christian fire, ethics, fire, though. Fire, fire, with my Christian fire, ethics, fire. though. Black, mm. if you ask me of my opinion about LGBTQ+, what I'll say is that, I hate the act, though, mm. but I love the actor. Ah. I hate the act, but I love the actor. Oh, you love the sinner, but you hate sin. Exactly. Hallelujah. Fire! Fire! fire, fire oh, fire, my God. Fire. All right. So, I mean, for, 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 for adultery, Jesus Christ said it was a sin. Mm. But which one of you is without sin? Do you see homosexuality as a sin? Well, listen, sin, only God can judge who has sinned. Oh, really? You, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, I know with my, with more my morals that, look, I wouldn't do what is bad. Mm. If Holy Spirit lives in you, you know, your conscience will tell you this is good, this is bad, you know? Mm. But for me to point fingers at somebody and say, you are a sinner, I leave that to God. <laughs> I'm not a judge. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not someone who's going to judge the, the world in the last day. You know, I will leave that to God. As Jesus said, he who has no sin must be the first to cast the stone. You know, if these guys are to be burned to death, are to be brutal, butchered, are to be jailed for life, who are you? Who are you righteous? How righteous are you? So you don't support the bill in parliament right now? I, I, I don't think it is, it is necessary. Lord, they would do that because they, they are, it's an earthly kingdom. Mm. You, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? It's an earthly kingdom. Do what you, <laughs> you want to do. But for me, if the bill is passed all around and asks me to sign, I wouldn't sign it because I'm not the one to judge. You know? Yeah, I wouldn't judge that they should be criminalized. 
Your, your master TB Joshua, better still let me say your pastor TB Joshua, was healing a lot of people and removing the demon of homosexuality from them mm. because of which he was banned mm. from YouTube. Yeah. Do you think that homosexuality is a demon? Listen, if you, are, you have morals, mm. you would know what is good, what is wrong. That's right. The man of God mm. was delivering people from homosexuality. Mm. He didn't condemn them. No, he didn't. He didn't condemn them. No, he Look, didn't. When Jesus set that Mary from Magdala, also known as Mary the Magdalene, from, from uh, that act yes. of uh, yes. prostitution, yes. you know, mm. Jesus didn't condemn her. No. You know, the, the woman got out of Jesus and said, where are your accusers? Mm. He said, they are gone. He said, neither, neither do I condemn you. You know what I mean? Yes. But the woman turned around to be the strongest saint among the disciples of Go Jesus. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. The woman, it was she who realized mm. that Jesus had woken up from, from, uh, from, uh, from, from death. From the dead, yes. It was, yes. It was the same woman mm. who went to that cemetery that dawn, middle mm. of the night, mm. to realize that Jesus has resurrected. Mm. You know? So, hey, if Jesus had condemned her, if Jesus had said, okay, go and stone her to death, mm. Who will be there to, to know that Jesus was rocked there? T.B. Joshua, the mighty prophet, said that homosexuality was a demon and he was exorcising it from the people. Mm. Do you share the same view that homosexuality is a demon? It could be something that is negative. Mm. It could be something that is negative, as we have morals, mm. you know? But I don't say the person is human as we are. Mm. What is influencing the person? I have, I have no control over it, you know? So if, if I condemn you, I'm condemning the human being. But what is inside him that makes him commit such an act? I have no control over it. Mm. You know? So if you have something that you have no control over it, it has control over your mental ability. So come on, that means you don't have control over yourself. Interesting. So, so anything that you have that you don't have control over yourself, mm. it could be demon, mm. whatever. Because if it is good, you have control over yourself. That's right. So if you have control over homosexuality, it ceases to be a demon. What I mean is, mm. what I mean is, mm. if you have control over... Nobody has control over it. Mm. Because, listen, I've met these people. So I've, I've spoken to them, show them love. <laughs> and they tell me, the Shasha, I want to leave it. I want to stop. Oh. But I cannot do it. You oh. know what I'm saying? I tell them, listen, give yourself in prayer. Wow. But I don't condemn you. I don't shun you. I understand I what you I don't shun you. Mm. You welcome them. Show them love. Show them love. I hug them. You know, by showing love to them, they'll probably turn around from that situation mm. and come and do the, the better, come and be the better person you want them to be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So listen, black. In the world we are today, I mean, the, in the, how the world is, some people are angels and some people are demons, mm. you know? An angel will never say anything good about a demon and demon will never say anything good about the angel. You know what I'm saying? I say, I'm talking like this. Look, if you open your phone lines or your, your Facebook line, a whole lot of people are coming on to write, bash me and all that. And fire, some people are coming fire, to support fire, me. Fire, fire, you know what I mean? Fire, fire. Also, let me say, don't get me wrong, Black. The bloggers, if you, if you want to blog this, blog it exactly as I am saying. You don't cut it into pieces and say, Shashamali said it, blah, blah. Yeah. You, 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 you blog mean, exactly. I mean, I, can, I, I can see the headlines <laughs> tomorrow. Shashamali supports LGBT. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. Look at, black, what, I'm trying, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say. The, Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. Your neighbor could be a member of the LGBTQ+. Right. We are obliged as Christians, we are emulating the steps of Jesus Christ mm. to love them. To love them. Not to condemn them. That's right. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, love is the only weapon that can overpower hatred. So if you have love, you make things work better around you. What do you think about men becoming women, like changing their sex, you know, to women, what we call transgender? Mm. Look, they have a problem. Mm. We need to show them love, get closer to them. Mm. When they see that you're not shunning them, you are welcoming them to the society. I get it. I'm telling majority of these guys want to turn around. Mm. They want to turn around from mm. the bad to the good. Mm. You know, but, but condemning them, you are rather, you know, messing the whole situation for them. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm a Christian. Like, that's what I'm saying, that I hate the act, but I love the actor. Fire! Fire! Shashamali, Fire. last question on Fire. this, then we move into something stronger and more beautiful. Mm. If there was an opportunity for you to save one person, Shashamali, mm. one person, a thief and a homosexual, who would you save? <laughs> Hallelujah. One person would be difficult. I'll save both of them. You know. <laughs> <laughs> one person would be difficult. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> you know,
Think tax road traffic jam. Oh my God, this man sings effortlessly. <laughs> my God, have mercy. Give me an acapella of this Shasha Mahali. I've been living around on the Spring Tax Road oh. for more than 67 years mm. now. Traffic situation remains the same. It's been so going on for over a century oh. in this time of liberation. I must say this, yeah. The government goes and, and government, government come. come. Nothing ever done and about, about it. it. I tell you what, spin tax road, traffic, traffic jam. jam. What you gonna do traffic about this? Jam. Tell me now, Black Rasta. Spin tax road, Whoa, traffic what? jam. What are we gonna do Black about Black Rasta, it? I say. Spin tax road, Whoa, what? traffic jam. What are we gonna do about it? Make it a, make it a, make it a, make it a, make it a priority. Oh. Yeah. Spin tax road, traffic jam. That's right, Black. What are you gonna do about it? What are we gonna do about it, oh man? Oh my God. Yeah, man. Quality yeah. piece of music by Thank all you standards. So much, I mean, I love this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when it came out, the number of people who called me. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I said, people love Shasha Mali. Yeah, yeah. KOD called me and said, yo, Black yeah. Rasta, <laughs> have you heard Shasha Mali's new tune? Of yeah. course, I had heard it, yeah. but I needed to hear yeah, from him. Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, new tune. Say, ah, you need to hear it. You of all people, <laughs> this is wicked. Yeah. I'm going to send it to you. That's right. And then he sent it to me. Okay, and then yeah. he called again. He said, yo, have you listened to it? I oh, said, wow. wicked. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, people love you. Yeah, Kyodi. Kyodi is a brother, you know. Wow. Way, way, way back. Way See. back, yeah. See. So big him up. Big up, Kyodi. Now yeah. tell me, man, who produced this? Well, this one, you'll be amazed to know the producer of this song. Lion and Fox? Well, we ended up in Lion and Fox. Okay. All but right. it was produced mm. by Nana Finn. Oh, wow. Two Lock. Two Lock. Yeah, from here. Well. You know, we, we finished here. Took it over to the States, do mm. some guitar colorings, you know, wow. and all that, and then ended up in Lion of Fox. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Nana Finn produced this of one? Of course, of course, man. We've got great producers here. We haven't discovered them yet. Lord God have mercy. You know, but I know you work with him, right? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. For real. Yeah. Woo! Oh, this is crazy. Crazy, yeah. Whoa. Two yeah. luck. Wherever you are, big up yourself, big man. Up yourself, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Now, I mean, I see this one rising to the level of uh, Mata Tui Tui, oh. the Mata family. But it all depends on you, Black Rasta, because you did it. Lord God when, when the Mata family came, look, your platform blasted that, oh that song God. and you made it known all over. There was no day I never played I it. know, man. Black, I mean, Black, I hand this over to you, man. Lord God have mercy. This is for you. Once Speed more. Tax Road Traffic Jam. Exactly. I mean, I think that the mayor should make you the uh, mayor of uh, Spintex Road. Yeah, well. In fact. Well, they need to hear the message anyway. Yes. Yeah. Because right now, the people of Spintex Road are all yeah. going to be looking at you and they were going to be seeing you as their savior. Yeah, but Black, when, yeah. I, when I posted the, the advert on, mm. on my social media right. that I was going to release a song like that, somebody mm. even you know, wrote uh, on the comment, yeah. come to Bolgatanga, you'll be humbled. Wow. You know, so it means the travel situation is all over the country. Wow. You know, Afinya, Good Ashaman, Kaneshi, everywhere, tra mm. uh, traffic, you know. So that's what I'm saying. The Spindles Road Traffic Jam is a case study My you God. Know, for us to let the world know that, hey, this is the problem we're facing. And as soon as the song was released, we had a call from Lagos. Mm. Somebody said, hey, you have to play Lagos Traffic Jam. We, wow. we, we did an interview in the Nigerian, in Nigerian radio. Yeah. So it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a national concern, you know. Mm. And, and we need, we need, really need, to listen to this and oblige to the, the message and do what we're supposed to do wow. to revamp the economy. Elections are coming. Yes. Um, uh, it's again between the NPP and the NDC. Mm. Now, are you going to vote for the person who comes to tell you, okay, when I'm voted into power, I'm going to fix the traffic problem right there on the spin Oh, not, not just, not, not just telling me you're going to fix the traffic situation and, mm. uh, and I'll vote for you. You know, I, I want to hear policies. Yeah. Good policies that really, really make me feel like, yeah, you know, th this is the right person to vote for, you know. Listen to my music. Spin this road traffic jam. What are you doing about it? Mm. Authority, listen, we are concerned about the traffic situation in the country. For real. You are clearing them off. Mm. Let's, let, let everybody get to work in time. You, yeah. you know? And then we know that you're doing something. Mm. You know, for us to be convinced to vote for you. Interesting. You know? People call radio. Uh, we have them. We call them what? Serial callers and all that. We use our music to address concerns. Right. You know? And this is the situation that we are addressing. Interesting. Like the traffic situation in the country mm. must be eradicated. Baumia is standing for presidency. Mm -hmm. 
if you are invited to come over and perform at a political platform for Baumia right now, would you do it? Well, if you call me to come and perform at a political platform, yes. I'm not going to sing a song for you, the party. Yeah, I mean, it's, not a, it's not a party song. You know? Okay, it's my, it's my job. I charge you, you pay for me, but when I come, the songs I'm playing is, is not for your party. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not singing that, vote for MPP is the best party. Whoa, whoa. No, I'm not singing that song, you know. I'm singing Rollins says, boom, boom, boom. Kufu says, wah, wah, wah. Them belly full, battery hungry, yeah, yeah. This is a song I'm, I'm coming to sing. Mm. Yes. You don't mind making your music draw a lot of people to a political platform because you are performing there, and then the politicians will use the opportunity to get them to vote for them? When I do it on, uh, for party A, yeah, the party B should come for me too, so I do it for both parties. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yeah, so Shashamal is singing there, he, he's, he's working. I'm, I'm not saying, hey, say, yeah, vote for... You know, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that. Okay, so when Sakawa boys or thieves uh, are celebrating their loot, they have uh, stolen so much yeah. money and they're happy, and they invite Tusha Shamali to come and perform mm. for them to celebrate mm. their stolen money, would you go? I have morals. I have morals. We're talking of Sakawa boys. Mm. I have, I've got morals that makes me know that this is, this is wrong. <laughs> you know, I'm a black. I hope you understand. Yes, I do. Yeah, I've got morals to know that how can a Sakawa boy come or... Matter of fact, let me tell you this. Mm. If even with my morals, yeah, if, if, if a, a, a company, alcoholic company, mm. you know, asks me to do an adverse with millions or whatever, I will not do it. Oh, you won't? I wouldn't do it because oh, wow. I've got morals to know that no, alcohol is, is against, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, so I've got morals. Oh, so you don't drink alcohol? <laughs> I don't. Or oh, once in a while? Uh, well, I'm a man sometimes. Uh, Once in a while. I, okay. I need to have a. But, I but hey, mm. come on, I love my red wine. Uh, okay. You know, my dinner time. Okay. Take a glass of red wine. Okay. Yeah, and I'm okay. You will not do an alcoholic beverage advice. No way. I'd never do it. I'm a Christian. That's what I'm saying. Interesting. Yeah, I, I have morals. When mm. I do that, I'm advertising what is for me, what is to me wrong to the people. I wouldn't be happy to see my child drinking alcohol. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so why should I advertise for a beverage, alcohol beverage company? How about betting? I wouldn't right. do it. Oh, really? I would, I've got more. My, my, my conscience would tell me this is good, this is bad. You know, so whatever my conscience tells me, I know the Holy Spirit speak to, speaking to me. Betting, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it, yeah. Interesting. Shashamale is my guest and we have in a conversation. <laughs>I always tell you about this. There was a time President John Dramani Mahama was interviewed. At the time, he was the vice president mm -hmm. to John Evans Arthur Mills. Mm -hmm. And they asked him who his favorite musician was in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Without hesitation, he said Shasha Mahama. I remember. I remember. Oh, yeah. my God. I, I saw that on TV, too. You know, and uh, JM, you know, I've never met him before. Mm. You know, but, uh, oh, yeah, I think I met him once. I met him once, one time. Yeah. Wow. When the musicians of Ghana went to visit the castle. Oh, yes. I think I was castle. part of that delegation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mm. But, you know, I know he loved my music. And yeah. I, I want to thank him for loving my music. Wow. Hey, JM, listen, I've got a new, new, new song on the block. Yeah. Come and support me. I need, I need the support. Wow. <laughs> what support do you need from him? Cash? Cash? We welcome cash. Oh, God. We welcome whatever. I like we, that. We want to advertise it, so we want the song to get to every platform, mm. both local and international, you know. This we need resources to get a song to everywhere, you know. My God, so have mercy. So, everybody who wants to support we invite you. JM, come and support. <laughs> JM, come and support. I know, I know, I know you love my music. That's why I'm saying that. Of course. But I'm not saying this because oh, I'm, yeah, I'm affiliated to, of course. to his party. You of know? course. Yeah. I mean, Shashamali is loved so much by JM. And he said it on TV live. Yeah. And Shashamali said, I have the heart of the king. Please, I've released a new one. That's come right. and support yeah. to the message can yeah. go out there big That's and right. wild. Shasha Mali, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. We have run out of time. You know, whenever we meet, we want to talk for like 
30 hours and more. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to deal with black, time. Black, anytime I'm on your show and I'm leaving, <laughs> I feel like crying. You know, I feel like crying, man. I, I wish we could do this, this over and over and over, FM. you know. Thank you so much, Black Rasta. Oh, my you know, God. Look, you have done it once more. Mm -hmm. Anytime, mm -hmm. anytime you hold my music, my music gets to every corner. For you real. Know? Listen, I put this music in your hand, Black I Rasta. I will hold it. Do it for me as you did it before. For real. You know? And I thank you so much for, for bringing me here. For real. To your, to your, this your prestigious platform, mm -hmm. you know? I really appreciate you, Black. And we thank uh, you so much for uh, yeah, making time to yeah. come. But are you going to be releasing an album? Yes, this is coming from... Uh, a single coming from the album, okay, uh, which is very soon going to come out. Oh. So when the album comes, you're going to find this song on the album. For real? Again, yeah. Do you yeah. have a name for the album yet? The, the name is out, but we're going to hold on okay. for now. You know, and, and when it is out, this is the platform we'll advertise it. You See. know, so, yeah. And, and maybe this time there's going to be a collab because I have a tune that I probably need you on it. I am yeah. ready. Yeah. yeah. More than ready. Yeah. Get yeah. ready to rumble. No two ways about yeah. that thing. Yeah. Black, black. Let, let me, let me, let me tell all my social media See, handles. Please Facebook, go ahead. Facebook is Shashamali. Mm -hmm. Instagram is Shashamali. You know the Twitter they call X. You know uh, is Shashamali G H. You mm -hmm. know YouTube is Shashamali official. You know so so everywhere everywhere Shashamali. You Shashamali, know, okay. You know, shout out to yeah. Listen, there's a guy listening to you in in Connecticut, USA. Oh, whoa. He's called Martin. Ah. Martin, shout out, shout out, shout out to Martin. Yeah, big up Martin. yourself, Martin. Yeah, he said I should say hi to you. Big up yourself, you know? Martin. Yeah, yeah. And we are live in Connecticut, actually. That's right. I mean, on Conscious Vibes Radio and TV. Yeah. As we speak, the show is on uh, Conscious Vibes Radio and TV in Connecticut. In fact, yeah. in a, a city called Manchester in oh, Connecticut. Wow, wow. Yeah, thank you so much. We yeah, appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But Shasha, you may need to put a phone number out in case JM wants to contact you. Oh, JM, 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 my and phone. And some other promoters. Uh, People. Yeah, zero two four four. This goes to JM. Zero two goes four to, four goes to JM and Baumi at the same time. Yeah, all right. It goes to all of them. Mm. You know, come and support this song. We need to do something about this uh, national concern, this uh, uh, traffic jam situation. For real. My number is zero two four four two mm. five one nine six two. Take it again. Zero two four four two five two five one nine one nine six two six two. Yeah, you can hit me up on that line. Hit me on 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 WhatsApp. You know, and let let, let me know. Yeah, what, what what we can do for you? Will you do a political song for a presidential candidate? That I will never do it. Ah. That I will never do it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Shashamali, you have real strong morals, oh, you know. Yeah. All right, man. So thanks thank so you, much for you. coming on the show, Shashamali. Black, Black, Black Yes, thank you Medassi, so much. Medassi, we appreciate you. Medassi. <laughs> Medassi. <laughs> Medassi. <laughs> 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 because I don't know you could tell you I'm more tired. One time. I'm about to tell you, man. I'm about to tell you.